that brings us to our next drug, Versed. Otherwise known as my Dazzleman, Versed is a second generation benzodiazepine, which uh, seems to have a pretty big following in EMS as far as the ultimate drug, uh, the perfect drug for sedation, for enzyme license, for everything. Um, I'm pretty active in the EMS uh, online community as far as uh, mentoring and teaching and guiding uh, both new and, and old providers, especially with regards to topics that I've got a, uh, a vested interest in. And, and one of those, uh, as you might have guessed, is pharmacologic uh, management of, of the airway and, and the critical patient. A lot of times I'll be there running a uh, scenario and I'll get somebody chimes in, all right, well, we need to intubate this guy, so go ahead and we'll do uh, four milligrams of Versed and 100 milligrams of Rocuronium, let's go ahead and intubate. My typical reaction is something a little bit like this, which of course prompts them to respond that, well, no, 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 my protocols call for, uh, you know, uh, two to four milligrams of Versed uh, for induction, followed by some Rocuronium, and let's go ahead and intubate. You know, the response that I have kind of turns into a little bit something more, uh, more like this. And, you know, once we've brought that out, it of course invites some sort of this kind of a response. And while I'm sure I just got about three of you to laugh, the rest of you guys are, are saying something like this. Um, but in all seriousness, um, Versetter My Dazzleam was never intended for induction. Um, I've strained and strained and strained to think of a good indication for using Versed over another drug, and I can't think of one. Uh, the status patient we've already talked about, uh, propofol and the anti-epileptic effects of propofol, um, it might just boil down to, well, this is the only drug that you have. In which case, I would plead with you to talk to your medical director, get another drug, um, you know, maybe ketamine. Ketamine's a great drug, and we'll talk about that one next. But talk about uh, getting a different drug, or at least use the appropriate induction dosage. And the appropriate induction dosage for, for said is a minimum of 0 0.3 milligrams per kilogram given rapidly. Uh, that is less than 30 seconds. Um, as all of you guys know, uh, Versed has a very kind of iffy relationship with its dose response curve. Um, there are some people who will respond amazingly to two milligrams, and there are some people who will be talking to you lucidly after 15. The primary disadvantage to that is once you've given the paralytic, you don't know if they're adequately sedated or not. Uh, part of this lecture is going to go over how do we tell whether somebody is adequately sedated or not. Um, and I'm going to get into that, as I said, a little bit later, but I'm going to give you a uh, quick hint now. If the only drug they've had is 4 milligrams of Versed or even 10 milligrams of Versed, they are not adequately sedated. So a lot of you guys might be thinking, well, you know, we've already said that 0.3 milligrams per kilogram is the minimum induction dosage, so why don't we just give that? And the issue with giving that is the hemodynamic instability. Uh, we mentioned earlier how propofol is a hemodynamically unstable drug. Um, I'd say that uh, Versed is actually probably, given in the appropriate dosage, Versed is more hemodynamically unstable than propofol. Uh, thiopental is um, a little tiny bit more hemodynamically unstable than Versed, but not by much. And of course we can't get uh, sodium thiopental or pentothal anymore in the, uh, the United States. But regardless, it's a very hemodynamically unstable drug. By the time you've given the appropriate 0.3 milligrams per kilogram, I'm sure you will have tanked their pressure, and unfortunately it's going to last a lot longer than it would with propofol, and that has to do with the clearance via uh, hepatic metabolism versus plasma and lipid redistribution, as you would get with the actual sedative hypnotic and uh, the actual sedative hypnotic um, induction agent drugs. Um, Versed is just, I really can't think of any, any reason where Versed would be uh, useful as an induction agent. Um, if one of you guys would like to uh, talk to me after the presentation, I would, I would love to hear your guys' input, but my reaction is there are so many better options than Versed. Um, I mean, just uh, if you think about it, you give enough epinephrine, the patient's going to code, and that's going to be a better induction agent than Versed. So why even use it? Why not use something better, something along the lines of ketamine?